And first here at 4, we're learning new information about the three people who died in a fiery crash last night in Trotwood. The Ohio State Highway Patrol says speed appears to be a factor. And 2 News reporter Deborah Bogart joins us live from the scene of the crash. The crash involved two vehicles and it happened at the intersection right behind me of Little Richmond and Olive Road. Now we're still waiting on the identities of the three victims to be released, but educators with the Trotwood Madison School District say that at least two of them were former students and the loss is heartbreaking. Emergency crews responded to this Trotwood intersection around 940 Wednesday night. The Ohio State Highway Patrol telling us last night one vehicle going south ran a red light and hit another vehicle. Both cars went into the trees and one caught fire. I mean, you could hear it. I'm four houses down and we could hear it. Today, educators with the Trotwood Madison School District say at least two of the victims were former students. The school says this is an unimaginable loss. Their families did an excellent job of raising these young men because they were good students, good citizens, um, just good people overall. Trotwood Madison High School principal Michael McCray says this is the latest hardship the Trotwood community will have to recover from. But he says they will support the families, friends, and loved ones as best they can. I already spoke to the superintendent and we already talked about reaching out to our uh, crisis team and trying to get them back in as soon as possible to be, be a support for our students if they need it. Support rolled in online for the district and high school football team as one of the victims appeared to be a former player. Frank Russo, the district's athletic director, says the young man was a leader both on the field and in the classroom. There's no question the success of our program. Uh, a lot of that was attributed to his leadership um, and his positive impact that he had on everyone from, like I said, not only the, the players on the field and off the field, but also the coaches. The number and severity of the other injuries were not released. We are continuing to follow this story, and as soon as we have more information, we will update you both on air and on the 2 News app, so stay tuned for that. Reporting live in Trotwood, Deborah Bogart, 2 News, working for you.